All right, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Um, yeah, just playing some games. You know, we should try to play a game and right after do a puzzle battle. So if you're challenging me, uh, stick around after the game and then I'll send you a puzzle battle. That way we get to practice tactics as well. All right, all right. Who has an exam? Well, we'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. Let me get to it. Let me see if I have any challenges. Maybe not. Yeah, we're doing viewers, guys. All of you, come on. Bring it on. Oh, here we go. There you are. Perfect. And I think I got my first opponent. Yep. And we're playing as a white pieces. Let's play E4, see how that goes. <laughs> Carol can. Come on. Okay, D4. Okay, so this is, remember, we talked about this English versus C6. You could play 4 or you could play E4 first and then C4. And it's the same thing. So it's, it's interesting to confuse your opponents. Look. I think he's gonna leave. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not every day, but uh, whenever I have some time, we gotta get it done, we gotta get it done. Friend requests, I'm, I always accept them. Like I, every time I enter chess.com, I see friend requests and I, click, I quickly accept them. Just send me a challenge, guys. You got my username, you got my username. I think you can see it there. Well, not so well, but. <laughs> happy Thursday, by the way. Happy Thursday. All right, happy, uh, finally we get this. Now, careful for my opponent, careful with any city tactics. Okay, they have to take first. Let me open up my queen. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right, we take. Okay, what do I pin? What do I pin? What do I pin? Iranian. The Aronian game, um, yeah, but um, okay, okay, you're right, you're right. So I have to do a better job, guys, at putting that that for you. I gotta put it out there for you. By the way, uh, thanks to you, I finally, <laughs> I finally on Twitch, I activated the the account. I, I I didn't even have the I didn't even have the email confirm or the account confirm. So now people can subscribe, but. Until you said it yesterday, I hadn't done anything. So we're getting better on the Twitch side. You're more than welcome, more than welcome. You know, uh, it's in my experience, it's just a matter of getting started. And you know, the motivation, I knew why I was doing it and that was good enough. But it's just getting started, guys. Sometimes you want to do something and you want to start when you have everything perfect and then you never start. With the YouTube channel, if you look at the first videos, the quality is so bad. Um, audio is horrible. I was doing it with one of these. I didn't have a microphone. Um, I didn't even show my face because I wanted to make it easy. If I had to, from the beginning, um, show my face and worry about if I'm ready or not, I knew that I was not going to do it. Many of those first videos, I did them, like I'll wake, uh, I'll be like late at night before I go to sleep. Okay, let me just do one. And then I just needed to talk and, and that's it. Also, a lot of them, I think from number, I want to say 80 to number 100 and something, I was traveling. So we were going from city to city and it was so much easier without having to show my face or have a camera. So I would say make it easier, make it easy so that you can stick to it and that's it and besides once i started i started to see a lot of people finding value in it and that's that's the motivation i guess okay so let me just activate the rook guys so far we got pair of bishops my opponent is the one with the isolated pawn 
lesson 102 no 101 right lesson 101 <laughs> yeah i i don't sleep that much Okay, so time to improve that knight. Don't forget, in front of every isolated pawn, there is a there is a good square and or a weak square, and we wish we want to put a knight there. Now I'm threatening to get that pawn for free. I don't know if our opponent is going to allow us to do that, but we gotta keep it in mind. Bring it on, guys. That's all we're doing, accepting challenges. So bring it on. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, they said no free pawn. Oop, fork. A plus B whole square. Okay, there, there you, lo you lost me there. All right, let me get the rook. All right, so up a piece. I think time tr time pressure got to my opponent. Bring it on, wait, I'm waiting for you. Bring it on, all right, simplification. Happy to do that. Oh, Knight's, Knight's Cemetery, right? Uh, let, me, let me do it through here. Yeah, I think the Knight is trapped. So always careful, guys, with the Bishop Cemetery, the Knight Cemetery. All right, I got that one. Let me see if my opponent is good for a puzzle rush. Okay, wait, let me see. No, puzzle battle. Okay, let me just... Now I'm gonna send it, uh, if he got disconnected, he got disconnected, but if he accepts it, then we get uh, we get to practice tactics too, guys. Besides, it's another opportunity for me to destroy you. <laughs> right, Jack, come on, man, get on for the puzzle battle. I sent you the puzzle battle. Good to see that you're still here. <laughs> Why not rookie seven instead of... Um, well, I thought of rookie eight first check and then rookie seven, but I think um, I think f three has to be better, right? And then the rook goes down. Yeah, I don't do this much, guys. Believe it or not, I only do this with my students, and I don't do it to win <laughs> against them. I do it to put some pressure on them, and that's it. But I typically lose. <laughs> okay, uh, Jack's not ready for the puzzle battle, so maybe we don't do the puzzle battle. Let me just go back to play. And, okay, we already played. Guys, 10 minutes, we already talked about that. Let's do this. Ed, you still, uh, what, uh, you're still here, man? I thought you had quit chess. I thought you were doing something else. All right, all right. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all the support and enjoy. Lesson number 40, things are just getting, they're getting good now. So I think you're, you're learning about pawn, you know, the pass pawn, the backward pawn and so on. That's extremely important. And uh, soon you're gonna, start, you're gonna start learning about more, more exciting stuff. And that's the thing about chess. The more you learn about it, the, the more exciting it gets. Hello, someone from Twitch. <laughs> guys my username is right here so all you have to do is send me a challenge okay we're playing 3-2 we've said it before um, I used to take any time control even uh, 10 minutes but mm, 
the thing is that more often than not, we'll get a few people cheating on the stream and then that's time wasted. So wasting six minutes is okay, but wasting 20, not so good. I was a little bit concerned about E5, that's why I, he I hesitated, but... Okay, okay, glad to hear. Hope, hope everything is going well, okay? I know that you're already, you're probably already married and all that, but... I thought you were just busy with something else. Maybe you found another hobby. Are you playing tournaments or no? Okay, guys, I got an exchange and a pawn. So, like always, simplification is key. And uh, the fact that they gave me the dark square bishop makes my decision of giving up the, the, the dark square bishop much easier. So there you go, simplification. Also trying to f improve my pawn, pawn structure. You got it, you got it. Um. Okay, let me accept the friend request. Let me see if I got any friend request over here. Mm, okay, so accept. And that's it, good. Okay, wait, do I take here? Do I take here? <laughs> thanks, thanks. You know, uh, there are always exceptions, but for the most part, you want the pawns on the opposite color of your pawns. But of course, we gotta pay attention to your opponent's pieces too, right? But the idea is... Cha, cha, cha. Yeah, but the idea is that number one, those pawns, since they're on opposite colors, the pawns are not going to be interfering with your bishop. Instead, they're going to be complementing the bishop. So the bishop controls the dark squares, the pawns control the light squares. Yeah, maybe we do that next time. We, we, we do that, we've done it in the past, so maybe we go back to do it, doing it more often. Rooks on the seventh rank. And at the same time, we're making that queen look so bad in the in the corner. All right. Is that knight sort of in trouble here? Man, we're not giving those knights any chances. We had a nice cemetery before. Do I get the knight or do I just go? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go with a with a stronger move. You got it. You got it. Okay, this is this has to be very nice. Or I just get a knight. Cha cha cha. Yeah, what's better than one rook on the seventh rank? Two rooks, and in this case, we got three major pieces. <laughs> Unnecessary guys, like I would in a real game I wouldn't I wouldn't I would probably wouldn't do that. But uh we calculate it. We can always run away. Yeah, man, I've, I've been there. I remember when I was, actually when I was in college, um, I've told you I didn't play chess for a long time. And while I was in college, it was just, uh, it was tough. It was tough. That's why I tell my students, um, whatever you're gonna do, do it now. Because once you get to high school, college, you're not gonna have some time, so much time for chess. So this is the time to study and, uh, and, and go to tournaments and, and so on. All right, 
anyways uh, good luck ed and uh, i feel you man i feel you um all right let's go to the next one okay i got my friend request friend request friend request good perfect all right white pieces let's play four again see how it goes Okay, so you were, did, did I just play you? If that's the case, I'll send you the puzzle battle after this one, okay? It's just that for the first game, my opponent just said, drop it, man, okay, what, what puzzle battle? <laughs> All right, so let me just castle, we're playing Rui Lopez. Let's see how this goes. Huh. Ta, 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 ta. Let's do it. Good morning, good morning. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Um, what I always tell my students when they're getting started, guys, is if you find C5, just uh, play C3 or E3. Like that's that's it. Just if, put the pawn on E3 or C3. If they take, replace the pawn. Keep on going with your opening. Make it to the middle game, okay? Well, you know that that it's what we always talk about. It comes down, the winning chances come from knowing your opening. There's not one opening that's gonna give you more than the other, it's just which one is more comfortable to you. But with that said, the one that I've seen my students enjoy the most is the one that we started to learn on lesson number 34, the Vienna. And it's just because it's simple, right? As you move up, as you move up the ladder, maybe you want something, something else, but that one is pretty, pretty nice. Okay, guys, so 95. Um, I really want to get fancy here and play. This would be so interesting, huh? <laughs> Let's give it a try. Bro, bro, I already accepted. I accepted all of the friend requests that came in, guys. All of them. All of them. Uh, well, I got three more. Let me actually make it full screen. Accept, accept, accept. <laughs> you made me remember it. Uh, I had a, I have a student that the other day told me, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I gotta be like the, like the coach, like, what do you say, bro? <laughs> um, okay, so this is, I'm going too far just to make this work, but why not? <laughs> you got it, bro. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, I, you know, I'm. People typically ask me, "Oh, I'm impressed. How do you remember the the lesson numbers? You not only do you remember the lesson numbers, you remember the lessons, and I don't remember them all." So that's good, that's good. Good afternoon, where, where are you from? Because it's morning for me, so where are you right now? Okay, this is looking good for what I want, or maybe not. 
cha 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 Wow, 7.20. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Poland, Poland. Oh, oh wait, I gotta start playing faster and stop talking. Let me stop talking. Thank you, thank you. Trying to simplify, guys. I'm up, uh, I'm up like a couple points. More than enough. This is more than enough already. Mm -hmm. Who lost some time? Lost some time. Mm. Ah, made in one. I missed. I missed made in one. Okay, you gotta, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Oh man. Wrong way. If my knight were here, that would be mate. But it wasn't there. It just was not there. Missed checkmate in one move. This is just not good. This is just not good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, all right. Let me see. I have pending my opponent from last time. Let me go here. Okay, no, it was not you. It was no, okay, it was you. I am the Talex. Let me see. Here we go. All right, I'm sending you the challenge. And we got it. All right, guys, it's just quick, a quick puzzle battle. 
Now, these ones, I'm not even going to try to explain because they're pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Back rank, back rank, back rank. Knight and queen. So all of this should be easy for you. Checkmate. All right. Oh, oh, come on, come on. All of these are made in one, which I just missed, by the way. And that's why oop, that's why I keep telling my students, yeah, puzzle, puzzle battle or puzzle rush, they start easy, but we miss so many mates in one. And it's just mate. Oh, oh spot opponent. Okay, one more. Um, and I don't understand. These are just guys quick pattern recognition, nothing special. Now this one must be Bishop F7 deflecting the rook. Then we take this one. Is there anything better? Nah. Okay, this one, same thing. Um, I'm attacking the bishop, I'm attacking the rook, which is defended. So this has to be about deflecting the defender, right? So the queen is overloaded, defending two pieces. So we take, take, and take. All right, this one, it has to be made. I see this check quickly, only move, and then we take. Okay, pin. Most likely, ha likely it has to do with this. Careful with taking the bishop first because then I leave. So we take. Now pawn first and then bishop. Yep, that's forcing. So check. And give me that. Now, same thing. There's a pinned pawn. <laughs> pin pawn. So we just take. And this one, look, my bishop is aiming at the king side. There's a bishop waiting for me here. My queen could land on g6. And this, if you've ever gone over a tactics book you must have seen something like this so queen g6 threatening mate and they cannot take you because of the pin so that's it all right i'm gonna claim the win good battle so guys when you finish the game if you want puzzle battle just let me know i'm ready for you guys whatever you want whatever you want to take all right let me see next one all right <laughs> good game, good game. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, boy, sister, wait, wait, wait. Do you play on leeches? No, uh, no, the answer is no. <laughs> The answer is no, guys. The answer is no. Well, it, it does take time, guys. It does take time. It does take time. It does take time. Yeah, the typical question that we get is, oh, when I do tactics, someone tells me there's a tactic, so I find it. But in a real game, no one is telling me there's a tactic. Well, that is going to occur at a certain moment, it depends on, on the person, right? Some people, it takes a month, some weeks, some years, but believe it or not, one day, you don't know when you're gonna start seeing, the, seeing them in your games. So we just need to do lots of them so that your brain picks up the patterns and you start to see it. Of course, everything that we have talked in the YouTube videos helps, guys. Um, your intuition, if you develop it properly, is going to tell you, you know what? In this position, there might be something. There are pieces being attacked. There is pressure on the king. There is peace concentration on one side of the board. And then you, you're going to start looking for it. But it's much easier when the pattern is there. All right, so let me just take. Again, you see, there's a pin. That's a pattern that I picked up quickly. So I'm thinking, can I exploit it? What is that knight defending? And then I just take it. For some people, they don't even have to go like that. They just look at the board. Their, their brain picks up, oh, free pawn on e4 because everything is pinned and, and so on. But just keep doing it. Keep doing it. No, I'm just accepting the challenges. So you can see here my username. Let me see, can you see it there? Yeah, you can see my username. Just find me and send me a challenge, okay? Hey, I thought, I thought this was open. Okay, anyways, probably was the, be the better move, but 
No, I'm not so sure. Now, this came to mind, but it doesn't really do anything. So we just castle. Hey, hey, that, that's... What? <laughs> That's what we just did. We just did a puzzle. Okay, puzzle battle, puzzle rush. We've done puzzle rush before many times um, on stream. So just go through the go through the the, the account. What was going? What happened here, guys? <laughs> Let me see. I was talking about tactics and patterns, and I castled into a checkmate in one move. See, for me, I missed one before. I fell for one now. I need to do hundred one move checkmates. All right, congrats, congrats. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, there you go, there you go. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a screenshot of this and frame it. Nice, man, nice. <laughs> Don't you guys on this yet? <laughs> well, you know what? I've gotten destroyed before, and I think for low, by, by a lower rate of opponent. Now, good one. Look, you spat it. You went for it. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to blame it on you. Now, good game, good game. So now i got to take it out on my next opponent, guys. Oh, man, that was a nice one. That was a classic. And then we just did, <laughs> I was like in the puzzle battle. I was like typical knight and queen checkmate. Good. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but let's go to the next one, guys. Let's put that in the past. <laughs> okay, so I'm playing a 2080. Let me play my, you see, look look at what you made me do now. Playing F4. All right, uh, Ed, I know you're there somewhere. This is for you. <laughs> and you, you defeated in style. Oh, it, hap it happens? No, it's happened many, many times. But you know, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it was so, well, we have all been there. When I, he when I heard the sound of the checkmate, it's like, what? It happens, guys, it happens, it happens. <laughs> all right, so let's, um, Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's close that file. Yeah, it's a it's it's like a dodge reversed. This is the bird's opening in case you are curious. Mm -hmm. This is the this is the one. This is the one. Now nah, King is always gonna hide over here, so we should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, you know, I, I was walk, looking at a picture yesterday from a, uh, an over the board tournament that I actually drew drew a, a grandmaster. But yeah, especially on on here on, on Title Tuesday, I have defeated and just playing on chess.com, I have defeated uh, some. I don't know how strong they are, but hey, Grandmaster is Grandmaster at the end of the day. Okay, guys, Pawn Storm, let's do it. D don't, 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 don't remind me that, man. Just, just leave it in the past. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I gotta focus. I do have to focus. Mm. All right, let's go for the checkmate.
Not looking good, I'm not gonna lie. But I have to, I have to, I have to. So, are you, are you the one who defeated me? Only if you're the one who defeated me. Cha cha cha. Okay, guys, when you're losing like this, you only have one choice, which is attack. Attack, attack, attack. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. So going back to what we were saying before, here I have already pawn, two knights, the queen, the rook, bishop looking at the king's side. So I'm looking constantly for tactics. Look at the checks. But my opponent doesn't care about that. Cha, cha. I like it. I like it. It's coming around. This is this is the best position. This is when I get a good position. This is what it looks like. I never get anything better than this. Mm. At least we still have some pieces on the board, guys. Just some pieces on the board. I have a friend of mine that he's always, when he loses a pawn or two, he's like, what's a, what is a pawn for an attacking player? And I'm, I gotta adopt that right now. <laughs> so down a couple pawns, we still have some peace concentration on the king side, and I feel like some of their pawns are gonna fall, so let's see. We, we got it, guys. We're talking more and more about... We're talking more and more about Queen's Pawn opening, so we just talked about the, the Queen's Gambit exchange variation. We gotta keep expanding in that, in that area. All right, I think this is a piece, and things are looking better now. Are they looking better? I think they are. Alright guys, got that one, got that one. We came from, started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, help me forget. Just help me forget. Alright, next opponent. White pieces to play this for. Let's see if we get an A slap defense. Let me see, little sister. Little sister. What do you say, Ed? I want to see those words. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay. D4, E5. I, I guess we take here. Okay, sister, still looking for that. Okay. H5, not H6, and 95 against any opening with G3. For the opponent, do you like that plan? Well, what are you going to do when they play E4? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, what are you going to do when they play D3, E4? You know, I gotta show you a game. Well, I did show you a game. Did I show you a game? No, no, no. I only showed you the middle game position. Um, but I actually played an, an over the board game where that's exactly, exactly what they played. 
um, they played actually F4, they played knight H6, <laughs> and then the knight landed on F5. But you know, after D3, E4, they had to leave. So I just considered that. Favorite opening as white. You know, if I have to pick one, I would pick the, the King's Indian attack. Simple. It gets you to the middle game. It could it could go from passive to, to really aggressive. You could play it positionally as well. So there you have it. There you have it. But when I first started, I used to play the, the scotch. And I, I did like it a lot. What's going on with me missing these little details? Well, that's 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 the norm. That's the norm. After this one, we're doing it, Ed. We're doing it. Ed is one of those, uh, not only regulars on the channel, but it's been here since the beginning. And he's, he keeps avoiding me. He keeps avoiding me. I think I think he will, he'll be back soon. I think he told me he'll, he'll be back soon. All right, let's just get, let me just develop. Okay, we're heading development. We just need to castle, and I want to castle to the queen side. Yeah, that, that's one of the first, and I think we talked about that on lesson 30, 32, 33. They just centralize on the queen for you, and it's a very easy game. It's just a matter of you as the white pieces being patient, and free piece, guys, free piece. Discover attack and we get the piece. Just being patient. The key there is being patient and pay attention to the, to the strategic, to the positional mistakes they're going to make because they're going to. There's actually a line that I used to play. It's the four knight, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6, d4. That it's known to be pretty drawish, but I, I've told you before, I used to follow Kramnik a lot and I saw Kramnik playing that and he would always outplay these super GMs. So I started to appreciate that. It's like, you don't need a huge advantage, just uh, use your pair of bishops, start putting pressure on their weak pawns, and, and put pressure. And it's so difficult to play that as black uh, that sooner or later they're just gonna make more and more concessions. I still, I still see a played being played. I don't think, I wouldn't say it's, it's refuted, but again, um, I might be wrong, but. Is there any easy way to, I mean, I guess anything, right? I don't know why I'm overthinking this, but uh, let me just do this. Trying to get to that seventh rank. What are they doing? What are they doing now? <laughs> what are these guys doing now? Uh, all right. Oh, guys, I already I already said like uh, just send a challenge, okay? And like always, pretty pretty, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to play all. I'm not gonna be able to play all of you. Um, so just keep that in mind, okay? I'm trying, I'm really trying. But if you keep checkmating me like that in one move, I don't think it's gonna happen.
Okay, okay, let me just say, reg uh, register that. Guys, if you're here to spam, there's something better you, you, you have to do with your life. Like, this is what you're doing on a computer, wasting time. I mean, if you're here to learn or to play, it's fine, but come on. Like, look, if, you, if we could see you in person, we'll give you a hug, a group hug to make you feel better. But there's no way this is the best thing you could do in your life. There's just no way. Not today, on a Thursday. There's no way. <laughs> Guys, I, I still find it interesting that you ask this question. I mean, you're probably new and so on, but the whole YouTube channel, guys, is step by step getting you to that point. It's, there are over 200 lessons, most of them in middle game planning and depending on the point structure and this, you gotta put in the time. Either read a book or go through the YouTube channel. There's no shortcut. There's no way I could give you 10 tips and that set doesn't exist. How did you get good at tactics, at finding forks? You had to do hundreds of forks. How are you gonna get good at middle game planning? doing hundreds of middle game uh, exercises that have to do with evaluating the position, planning, and, and so on. You have to. There's no way around it. There's just no way around it. Okay, guys. So you're really going to make me go and... Uh, wait. Let me find and block a few people here. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. This is unbelievable. You got it, guys. Well, you know, there's one here in Florida, in Orlando. Uh, if you've ever heard, if you're not from the U.S., um, one of the cities where we have the Disney parks, that's where they have this tournament, and it's going to be on the 17th. So that gives us like 15 more days. Okay, guys, we got this one, and let me see if Ed is sending me the, sending me the challenge. In the meantime, let me get the... Let me get ready to moderate a little bit. Ed, do I send it to you? All right, let me send it to Ed, wait. Uh, nope, puzzle bottle. Gotcha. Ed, I'm gonna do it with only one hand. Look, this hand, I'm not using it, I promise. So this one has to be free piece, okay. Let me not even say what I'm doing because Ed is gonna, <laughs> okay. This has to be another free piece. No back rank? Yeah, back rank. And free piece, what is this? Oh no, this is mate. I'm, I'm having trouble with the one move checkmates. This is not good. Cha, 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 cha. No. Oh, yeah, this is mate. Oof. These are pretty hard. <laughs> Ed, where are you going? Where's Ed going? Okay. Chakata. 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 Ed, Ed, slow down, Ed. And. Cha, 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 cha. I'm white. Wait, wait, wait. Am I white? Yes, I'm white. Okay. Is this it?
Ed, I'm waiting for you next time. <laughs> All right, good, good, good one, good one. And let's go back. Okay, once a rematch. Sorry, guys, guys, sorry, sorry. All right, this one, let's do it slowly. Okay, that's back rank checkmate. A, hey, A, hey, A. Hey. Okay, all of these are back rank, pretty easy. Back rank. Okay, this one is check and then skewer. Ooh, I almost missed that one. <laughs> I thought this was gonna work. Oh, it does work. this one be about uh, what could that one be about all right Ed good ones man good ones this one you did way better but you gave me a break you gave me a break this last one I don't even know what it was uh, Ed's good Ed's good <laughs> all right guys let me go back to getting destroyed by you okay I got a few friend requests here friend request friend request now remember I'm not accepting the 10 minute guys 3 2 3 2 so let me start over here. Good game, good game. Very good ones. Very, very good ones. All right, I see that you're still in shape. That's that's what I was concerned about. not even trying. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks. Okay, so then... Okay, we take... Now let me see because I think this is not, there's no increment here. So I need to be uh, alert.
too late. But no, if someone plays plays it again, I'm gonna play the Austrian. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, just keeping it quiet, castling. Absolutely, I made a video about it, but I can show you my settings. Let me do that just for a moment. Okay, knight to the center, that's a no-brainer. So these are the pieces, board, overlay. And guys, if you go to the YouTube channel, you're gonna see, and then the little F effect, it's uh, because of these. If you go to the YouTube channel, you're gonna see a thumbnail. There's like a chessboard with a multicolor, and it's about how to change the overlay. So you could put any color you want in the, in the background. Mainly, if it affects your eyes, like after playing for a while, you could find a color that is easier for that. Um, you know, now I, I'm still remembering the night before move from yesterday's stream. Ah, unbelievable. <laughs> cha, cha, cha. Now, great, but definitely it has to be that you're training, you're doing something else, but hey, uh, I'm glad to see that you use that, that line and you can see that it's just about getting to the middle game. I don't know what happened in the game, but I'm pretty sure you won in the middle end game, one of those two. But yeah, man, so glad that, glad that that worked. Glad that that worked. The Venice variation, I think. So I think it's not that complicated, like an idol or something like that. And you play chess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that one I, I forgot instantly. That one I forgot instantly. Don't take what? Don't take what? Now here, here was interesting because I was, it, it never led me, but I was ready to do something like um, e5, trying to play. If they take the knight, bishop h7, like chip tricks, chip tricks, of course. But that's what we know how to do. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Mm. Yeah, why is this not accepting? Accepting. Got it. Well, in, in, a, in a few months, you're gonna see it's not that difficult. Like what I'm doing here is like pretty basic stuff. So just keep it consistent and you're gonna see, you're gonna see an improvement, 
All right. Um, You know, for me, the, the more time, the better. I'm not a good Blitz player. Um, so yeah, like when I play over the board, that's when I feel more comfortable. Like 90 minutes per player with a 30 second increment. Yep. Now, what, what time control are you using when you, when you when, in these games? Like, what time control are you using? What? There you go, there you go. <laughs> well, let us know, okay? When you start streaming, just come by and let us know your channel, and that way we can follow you. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, but uh, have you have you tried like fifteen ten? Maybe maybe you do better with that fifteen ten. And at the end of the day, with the increment, it sort of adds up like a, to a thirty minute game. Uh, we've done it. We've done it in the past, so we we definitely have to bring it back. I remember when we when we did it last time, we made it to sixty or, or sixty one. But hey, I'm open, guys. I'm open. I'm open to any of those ideas. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see the point, I see the point. Now, consider, for training purposes, of course, consider playing engines as well. So you could, with the engine, you don't have to worry about time. Like, pick a really difficult one and play it. Maybe a 23, 24, 2500 engine and play it. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yes, but that's why we leave it um, recorded, the way you can see it after. But I'm glad that you found some value in those horrible mistakes we, we made. Well, I, I made. Okay, so take, 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 or take.
you're more than welcome more than welcome now it's a matter of you keeping it consistent keep training 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 and the rest is uh is easy Ooh, whoop whoop frequent frequent all right let me go to the next Yeah, I know F. No, you know F three. Careful, because F three is very, very popular and very, it's it's interesting. And basically, they do it to avoid the Grunfeld guys. So that that early F three, I mean, I don't know if that was his purpose or not, but you see it. Players who want to avoid the Grunfeld, they they don't play ninety three. They play F three. Uh, cha cha cha. Take with the pawn. Let's try to put a knight on d4. And if they try to do the same, we play c6. The, this is a good one. Not, not what I play. Not what I play. This is a good one. <laughs> All right, let me just castle. Bring it on, guys. I'm just going one by one. Get out of here. That's all, that's all we're doing. That's all we are doing. Okay, let me take here first. And you know where this guy's going. Ooh, okay, no, no, good, good. <laughs> I was like, I missed something nice. You know, you could throw it in to mix it up with it, especially with an open like with an opening like the Nimso. The thing about the Banco is that I don't know, man. When I when I play it, I review the game after. The engine says plus one, plus two, <laughs> and you know I don't care that much about that because with the Pierce defense, the engine from the beginning is like plus six, plus seven, but plus one, and. Bottom line, what I've told my students in the past is you can play it, definitely have fun with it, but if you're just taking into consideration how much time you're going to put into preparing it and memorizing the lines, and it's just a little bit tough that you're preparing all of these lines, you're memorizing all of it, and then just to get a position where at best you are uh, close to equal and it, it's ironic that I'm saying this when I play the Pierce defense and the engine doesn't like it that much but my point is there's so many openings out there that if you're going to start from scratch maybe maybe not the Benko maybe look at the Benoni look at other lines that maybe you might enjoy more but with that said like I always tell you guys any opening you prepare even if you if you end up not playing it that much you're learning chess in general so it's, it's general knowledge anyways so I don't I don't know if I answer your question. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> yeah, no, those openings again, uh, especially, and I'm giving you guys what I used. I started chess late, and that allowed me to advance, but. Uh, I don't know if it's the best or, or not. Well, actually, it's not the best. But I don't. I, I, and, I, and also, it depends on your style. Some people, as much as they want to play it, they need something more energetic or different dynamic. It's, it's normal. There you go. And, and they do a great job at laying it out for you. So I think for the most part with them is memorizing the lines. 
And ultimately, the best advice I can give you is play it. You don't have to memorize everything. Just start to play it. When they play D4, C4, play it. See what you're getting out of it. See if you feel comfortable. And then you commit more time to it afterwards. Okay, this knight is a monster over here, but... Maybe like this. Yeah, this one looks better. On the Kali, yeah, we had one recently. And actually I posted also a game that I played. But we're gonna those are openings that we you're going to keep seeing on this in this channel, guys. The rock is here already. Bring that same issue over here. Bring it. Okay. Um, Check first. I started playing, I learned when I was like five, but I never play. I did, never took a lesson or anything. I just learned how the pieces moved and just like I learned how to play cards or things like that. I started to really get into chess when I was 12 and it was pretty late according to most people. No, 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 because, well, take the knight and the fork, take the knight and then fork. You mean skewer? Because I, I I thought of that, but the bishop will be here. Maybe maybe you're talking about something else. All right, got that one. Um, no, I was gonna say uh, you asked or you mentioned the sandwich before, and the sandwich is actually if I had to play against the king and I would pick the sandwich. It's just very solid. It's very difficult to get in trouble with it. You could get in trouble, but it's very difficult. All right, three minute game. I gotta play fast right here, no increment. Dad, Ed, I think you play this. Wasn't there something about this? I think this was fine. Okay, let me castle. Oh yeah, this is fine. And then he six, you got it, okay? All right. Oh no, then just give up and do, go do something else. Go, <laughs> that, that, that's a great age to, to start, absolutely. Mm. Look, all you have to know today is that I got destroyed by a 700 player. That's it. Knight g4, okay, that was a move, that has, that's a move. There was something wrong with queen d2. Let me go back. 
Ah, it's not G4. Yes. Yeah, there's something wrong about that move. They're not controlling G4 anymore. Thank you, uh, expert Ed. <laughs> okay, how about D4? Six, nah, E4 maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's the thing. That's what I couldn't figure out. Ready? Let's take. If we lose, we lose, but it feels good. What? They don't care. They don't care. Let's get checkmated, guys. It's not going to be the first time. It's not going to be the first time. My pawns say thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we hold. Hold. That's exactly right. We had a pretty good lesson on how to defend, and we talked about that. We talked about that. Okay, so another three minutes, no increment. Let's do it. Ed. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have they have pretty good material there guys. Pretty good material. And I I'm glad that you, you got some out of it. Um and yeah, so if it's expiring, get, get whatever you can before you before you, you get out. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You know it doesn't matter. If you do a rated, just be ready to donate some <laughs> donate some points, but that's about it. Okay, let's ask politely to just leave. 
c3 that way the bishop is not as good Well, I'll tell you what I always tell you about these openings. It's dangerous for whoever is not in their elements. For me that I've played that so often, I feel my elements. Not to mention that when you run that with the engine, again, I don't, I don't like to be like, oh, the engine, the engine, <laughs> but uh, it, it shows like a huge advantage for white. But even if it were completely even, even slightly better for black, I would play it because how, how often do you play that? And I get to play it pretty often. So it's easy for me to make decisions. But again, easier said than done, right? Easier said than done, than done. And you could obviously lose, but I don't think so. I think it's dangerous if you don't know it, if you don't want to put in the time and study it. But uh, I personally, I look forward to playing it and I have a pretty good score against it. Okay, so let's see if we can attack the attacker. Okay, there you lost me. It was pinned against the king before, now against the queen. nice <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> I see where you're coming from I see where you're coming from Let's do it anyways. Let's do it anyways. Let's do it anyways. Ah, what's going on? Oh, he took the, that one. Okay. So bad, so bad. That's why you guys have to put the increment, increment, increment. All right, guys, let's do it. Okay, this one has the increment. Okay, let's do it. Look, uh, I was talking about that with uh, Avetic from, from Chess Mood. That's what sells, guys. If you're doing this to sell, that's what you, you're going for. Uh, opening traps, hey, win, win in 10 moves, win in 12 moves, and people are going to click. That's, that's what it is. Don't forget that most people coming into YouTube 
to learn chess, they come with no idea. They're coming to learn, so they don't know. And if you tell them you could win in 10 moves with this opening, they're gonna believe you. Like I told you in the past, this student of mine, uh, she's already an adult, and she started to learn, and she was, oh, I wanna get out of 400. So I told her, okay, this is what you need to do, let's do it, we meet it once a week. And for the first three, four weeks, she kept coming back to me, oh, the opening, I forgot the opening that this guy told me. And I told her the same thing. What you should be doing is just playing without any openings, do tactics, tactics, tactics. Finally, she got to it, she broke uh, past that. But now she just <laughs> contacted me saying, I'm tired of this opening, I need to learn at least two openings for white, two openings for black. She's not even 800 yet. So nothing wrong with that. If we're trying to learn another field, we're going to be lost and we don't know where to go and what people tell us, we think that's what it is. But yes, there's this misconception that we need openings, we need opening traps. I know, I know. And it's also easy, it's just easy. Learn the opening and then that's it. Compared to learning tactics and middle game, strategy, end games, it's much easier, so why not? Hey, everyone, everyone. And you know, the funny thing is that I have students, adults, that I tell them this and they say, I know what you're saying and it makes sense, but I still like, I st I'm still gonna go for those videos. So we understand. We do understand. I would say I'll tell you in a moment. Let me see, because this is not looking good for me. No, 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 wait, you said this is not good. No, this is good, okay. Okay, at what level should we learn openings? I would say once you get to over, like maybe around, 1,000, 1,200, you could start paying more attention. But by paying more attention, I mean learn the first moves, seven, eight moves, like the main ideas, that's it. And by now, you start to pick an opening that you like. Okay, I like this one. Let me see, let me start using it more and becoming an expert at it and so on. And as you move up the ladder, it's going to become more and more important. You get van? You get van? <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I must take the fact. Cha, cha, cha.
Okay, that's not bad. That's not so bad. Got out of that one. I don't know how I got out of that one. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just challenge someone random on chess.com. Let's see if we get someone around my rating and we'll call it a day. Okay. We've been here for a long time. Um, long time? Yeah. Like two hours. Two hours? Almost two hours. Let's see if I find someone for a 3 2. If not, we call it a day. Okay. So there's no one for 3 2. That's why I don't play 3-2. Ideally, I would be playing 3-2 or more, but I don't find anyone. So let me go back to... Let me see if I can do just three minutes. Uh, okay. Cancel. Let me do three minutes. Yeah, three minutes we get quickly, but then it's just crazy chess. Okay, we're playing at 2387. Let's see how that goes. Okay. I just playing fast because remember it's three minutes, no increment. I'm playing at 2387 from Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. And uh, I need to focus, I need to focus. Thank you. 
Unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. Mm. Ah, I'll sleep. Okay, theoretical draw, guys. Sorry about that. Um, not sure. Let me take a look at the at the game review here. Um, oh, not sure. Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> All right. Let me see. All right. So we got eighty-seven percent. Okay, at least no blunder. Let's see what we messed up. Let's see what we messed up. Inaccuracy, okay, I liked it. So what was the better move here? C6 instead? Hmm. C6, B6, anything but what I did. Okay, still like my position. Take, take, C5, good, okay. Uh, Bishop F5 first. Okay, this position is already 137 for black. Well, actually, eh, 0.71. But can we convert this into a win? Rook C6, yeah. Yeah, I think I shouldn't have traded the pro bishops. I thought I was gonna be fine bishop versus knight, but I was not, I was not. Yeah, so your best move is just keep the bishops. Only makes sense. We talk so much about the pair of bishops, and here I am <laughs> doing whatever I want. And just like that, roughly equal. Let me see the end game. Okay, here. B5 was good. 371. What did I miss? What? Yeah, but B takes E4. Nice 7 cb 3 King B3, Bishop B5. Ah, okay. I just stopped calculating because I was like two protected pass pawns. I don't know. Oh, but then I take this one too. And my king is close. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that was completely winning. That was completely winning. All right, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it is what it is. Let me just put this here. Any final questions? Let me see. 
Yes, if you're talking about me, you're right about that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Welcome back, mister. Yes, yes, unbelievable. Unbelievable, yeah. Now, that, that's, now seriously, seriously speaking, that's what happens when you play without the increment, without time you don't have time to make the right decision. So it goes back to what I told you earlier. For me, the, the more time, the better. But we have to get comfortable with this time pressure, guys. We gotta get better at these. Mm, okay, have a question to your email. Well, I know you told me I, I have to get back now. During the weekend, I replied to email, so absolutely. All good, all good. All good, all good. <laughs> Personal training, send me an email and yeah, time pressure, time pressure. No, no, that end game, that was a draw. Like that end game was a draw no matter what. I don't know if after I took the pond, eh. yeah, time pressure. At the end, I always tell you guys, you either play fast or you play well. You cannot do both under time pressure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I got a few, I had I have a few in order that I don't even know. I have a few already. Uh, ready to come out but uh, we definitely have to keep talking about end games we gotta keep talking about the queen's gambit uh, even though not many people really like that one so maybe we don't go too deep into that opening we'll see at least the exchange variation all right guys um, no no we gotta learn we gotta learn so that's where playing 15 10 is good because you get time to think and come up with a strategy but then you also get to experience the, the time pressure. With that said, I'm going to leave it here. See you next time, okay?